I'm James McMahon, I'm 19, and I'm from Canberra. That was alright. Was that alright? Yeah, I thought that was alright. If I were to describe my comedy, I would say it's, it's kind of dry and it's a bit absurd, but I think it's a lot of fun. I've never performed in front of any crowd this big. The Canberra one had about 100 in the crowd, I think, and this is like 15 times that, so it's just massive, yeah. Could you please make some noise for James McMahon? Uh, in a few moments' time, you may begin wondering to yourselves, why is James being so contemptuous towards us? What have we done to earn his disdain? Well, don't take it personally. It's just that there's a certain confidence that comes with having the best joke ever written in your back pocket <laughs> that you can just whip out. Not now. <laughs> I'd like to begin by addressing some questions that I'm frequently asked in a segment I like to call Frequently Asked Questions. <laughs> Question number one, James, how are you? <laughs> That's a tricky one to answer, because it changes. <laughs> you know. All right. <laughs> Question number two. James, how was your day? <laughs> Similarly tricky. <laughs> but, uh, it's probably all right. <laughs> Question number three. James, are you Moroccan? <laughs> no. Surprisingly frequent question given my height, skin tone, hair color, and eye color. <laughs> Another popular one is James, are you Namibian? Again, height, skin tone, hair color, eye color. Not Moroccan, not Namibian. I'm in fact Korean. <laughs> this man looks doubtful, but I can assure you, sir, that Korea is a real place. Um, at this point, you may be wondering to yourselves, James, you know, you've been up here for a little while now. When are you going to get to the proper jokes? <laughs> well, never. <laughs> because jokes are for pricks. <laughs> pricks with too much time on their hands. Can I ask you, sir, how many jokes did you write today? None, that's right, because you're a hard worker. You're one of the common men. <laughs> I'm a hard worker, I'm one of the common men. I work hard every day. Lame brick. <laughs> Going down into the mines to dig up sand. <laughs> so my advice to comedians from here on out is to ditch your jokes and just get in touch with the common man. Like me. Having said that, I do actually have some jokes. Because <laughs> I'm not a common man. I live in an ivory tower where you're not allowed to go. It's guarded by elephants. <laughs> and the fact that very few of you fully appreciate the irony of an elephant volunteering to guard an ivory tower. <laughs> it's just that none of you are ivory tower material. Why would an elephant, knowing how many elephant brothers and sisters had to have died to construct that very tower, <laughs> volunteer to guard that tower? Because that elephant has mouths to feed. <laughs> mm. That elephant's son, Timmy, is in a leg brace. <laughs> Just you think about that. Uh, so I do actually have some jokes, but I've just been lit and I'm out of time. <laughs> Sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. Have a good evening. Give it up for James McMahon, everyone! It was great. I really enjoyed it.
I was glad that I wasn't caught up in, in nerves and I could go out and just be in front of that many people and just have fun. It was great.